You can use Amazon CloudWatch logs to keep track of, save and view your log files from Amazon EC2 instances, AWS CloudTrail, Route 53 and other sources. Hello, my name is Alex, I am a senior software engineer specializing in AWS development. We are going to talk about Amazon CloudWatch logs. First, we'll introduce what CloudWatch logs is and explain its concepts. Next, we'll look at the benefits of using CloudWatch logs and how it integrates with other AWS services to enhance your cloud operations. Finally, we'll dive into a hands-on demo to see CloudWatch logs in action. Let's get started. Amazon CloudWatch is a service that helps you keep an eye on your AWS resources and applications. It collects data and gives you useful information to monitor how your apps are running, fix problems, and make sure everything is working efficiently. The main features include tracking numbers or metrics, storing logs, setting up alerts, keeping track of events, and creating dashboards to view all this information in one place. CloudWatch logs lets you keep track of, save and look at the log files from AWS resources like EC2 instances, ECS, AWS Lambda, and even servers you have on site. It helps you monitor your applications in real time, fix issues, and set up alerts. You can also decide how long to keep the logs to and store them for future use. Let's look at some key terminology to help you understand CloudWatch logs. Log class. There are two types of log groups. The standard class has all the features for real-time monitoring and frequent access, while the infrequent access class is cheaper but has fewer features for logs you don't need as often. Log event. This is a record of something that happened in app or resource you're monitoring with the time it happened and message about the event. Log streams. These are a series of log events that come from the same source, like an EC2 instance or Lambda function. Log groups. These are collections of log streams that have the same settings for how long logs are kept, how they are monitored, and who can access them. Metric filters. These allow you to create metrics from your log data to set up alerts and take actions when certain conditions are met. Retention settings. These settings let you set rules for how long logs are kept before they're automatically deleted. Finally, subscriptions. This feature allows you to stream logs in real time to other AWS services like Amazon Kinesis, AWS Lambda, or even to third-party services. There are many benefits of using CloudWatch logs, including centralized logging. It gathers logs from different sources into one spot, making them easy to access. Scalable and secure, it can automatically handle more log data as needed and keep your logs safe with security settings. Real-time insights, you can watch your log data live and quickly fix any issues that come up. Cost-effective, you only pay for what you use and you can choose how long to keep your logs. Amazon CloudWatch works well with other AWS services, including AWS Lambda. It can trigger functions when certain log events happen. AWS Kinesis Data Firehose. It streams logs to places like Amazon S3, Redshift, or Elasticsearch, so you can analyze them further. AWS CloudTrail. It tracks account activity logs for checking and following rules. Amazon S3, it saves logs for long-term storage and future analysis. Now that we've learned about Amazon CloudWatch logs, let's dive into a hands-on demo. If you are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to help YouTube recommend it to more viewers. I am in AWS console. Let's go to CloudWatch. You can type it in the search or I have it already bookmarked right here. Let's click on a CloudWatch. And as you can see, CloudWatch actually has a lot of functionality here, but we're interested in logs and mainly in log groups. Let's click on it. And you can see that I have two log groups from the applications I previously deployed on ECS. Log groups have name, it has a standard log class here, and retention is never expire. It may not be the most cost efficient option, but you can always change it. Just select your log group and in the 
actions you click on edit retention settings and you can change your retention settings for your log groups at any time to make it more cost efficient let's go ahead and click in a first log group and as you can see there is a log stream and you usually would have many more log streams and you have your timestamp so you know when this log stream came in so you can click on the log stream and then we have log events each log has a timestamp and basically the log of what happened. You can filter your logs using the filter right here. Let's filter for get requests. I'm gonna hit enter, and we're gonna have all our events that use get requests right here. Another useful option for your log events is when you're gonna click on start trailing. Now your logs are in a trailing mode. You can go into your application and trigger some logs, and then you can see them in real time right here. You won't see them instantaneously, it will be a few seconds, but it's very good for real time debugging. The next useful feature is a view in log insights. So you can select your log group and click on the view in log insights, and this is a more sophisticated querying of the logs. When you do that, you also have to keep in mind the time window since my logs happened a while ago, I need to select uh, the window, let's say, from August 15th to August 31st. And I do believe my logs happen on August 18th. I'm going to click Apply. And now I'm going to click Run Query. And after a little while, I see basically all my logs here because this query is taking the logs, sorting them by timestamp ascending and limits to 10,000. If you are not familiar with a query language, you can use Query Generator, or in plain words, you can type what you need to find. Let's say we want to find logs for get requests. And we're going to click Generate Query. And it generated us the query to find the get request. Let's click on Run Query. And it found us all the logs with a get request. So keep in mind the log insights feature when you need to filter out your logs. Finally, let's go back to CloudWatch. We're gonna select log groups again. And let's go ahead and create a new log group. We're gonna put a name. Usually you use forward slashes. We'll put EC2, my cool app. Um, retention settings again, you may wanna choose your retention settings. I'll just say, well, maybe one month. A log class, you can choose standard or infrequent access, and you can optionally use the KMS key to encrypt your logs. And we're not gonna obviously do that, we'll just click Create. And as you can see, the log group is created. Now you can use this log group in your application settings to put logs into the CloudWatch. And of course, your application needs to have uh, create log stream permission and put log events. Thank you for watching. I hope by now you should have a good grasp on how CloudWatch logs can help you centralize, monitor, and analyze your log data efficiently. In the hands-on demo, we looked at the logs from an application deployed on ECS. If you would like to learn how to do it, please check out our ECS video.